Hello everyone, welcome to episode 6 of my Sims 4 Max Pets Let's Play. We had quite a few baby animals in the last episode, which I was really excited about. And I decided I am going to keep Duke, one of the puppies. But the rest I'm not so sure about. The little kitten I'm definitely going to sell at some point, and the other puppies. Um, the, the two that look like Leica I'm also going to sell. And then the other three puppies. I might keep one of those. Um, I'll have to see. I'm not sure. But one of the main focuses I want to have in this episode is to make more money. I'm still going to spend a lot of time with the animals. I'm going to, you know, make sure they're taken care of, do some dog training, do some vet, um, like lab work and stuff to level up that skill. But I also want to make money so I can renovate this house. I'm hoping to do that next episode. But since baby animals do get a quite a bit of money, I think I will still try to breed some more in this episode as well, just to keep that interesting too. So yeah, for now I'm just gonna go do like general money making stuff, like writing, uh, programming, art and stuff. And I'll be back with you later once I do anything about the animals or anything. Alright, so I actually misspoke earlier. I thought there was just one kitten. But there's actually two, because one looks like Caesar and the other one looks like Hasley. Uh, so also, I am going to sell anyway. both of them. So I guess we're just going to start with Lily first. Sorry to see you go, Lily. I'll miss you. But I know you'll find a good home. Okay, now it's Axel's turn. I definitely want to name a cat this in the future again because I love the name, but this Axel is not one that I want to keep, so I'm sorry buddy, but you'll find a good home as well. Since she's already sad about the other two, I guess we'll start selling the puppies as well. So we're going to have to say goodbye to you Cece, I'm sorry. These are fake little puppies and kittens, but I'm still so sad. But if this was real life, I would never do this. Um, I would definitely never breed puppies or anything like that. I would just adopt, so I feel okay about it in the game. So unfortunately, it looks like Kitty got herself sick. So I actually needed to go to the vet anyway to get the age up treats. So at least I'll be able to do that at the same time. But I'm definitely considering getting my own veterinary table at some point, so then I can just heal them myself when they get sick. Alright, so I just figured I'd get four of these age up treats just so we'll have a few for when we need them. I know I'll need one for now, and I'm still trying to decide about the other puppies. I think one of them we could maybe keep, but I don't want it to look too similar to like it's their parents, which would be lucky in that case because they all have the same pattern as him. Uh -huh. I like to age up and then like not save if I don't like how they look as an adult, but that seems a bit cheaty. But I wonder if we could do an age down after that and then still sell them. I might have to test that out, but maybe that'll come later. Let me know what you guys think about that if that's even too cheaty, I'm not sure. Alright, I am so ready to age Duke up and see what he looks like. I know I love him regardless, but it's just so funny how when they grow up, they usually look so different from how they were as puppies. Like, the patterns do the same, but just like their face shape and their body shape, you never really know what it's going to be until you age them up. Okay, here's a moment of truth. I hate this pop up, but let's see him. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. Oh, I'm so happy. He has such a similar body shape to Leica, but such a different pattern, so it's great. Welcome to the family, buddy. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Alright, so I actually never had a chance to sell Riley as well before, so I'm gonna do that now. Unfortunately, that means she's gonna be sad again. But I do want to have less animals that I know we're not going to keep, so that I can keep having more babies. Which sounds kind of bad, but um, it's just a game, so I'm okay with it again. Oh, Asparagus is pregnant again! I decided I had to breed her with Duke since we have another male dog now, and since she was Laika's puppy, obviously I'm not going to breed her to him. So I went with Asparagus, and so their puppies will probably be mostly gray because both of them are a lot of gray and white, but I still want to see what they're like, so I'm excited. So I decided I'm going to try the age up treat on Star and just see what she looks like when she grows up and if I don't like her then I guess I'll try to do the age down treat or maybe I'll wait till the next episode and see if anyone has any suggestions about it, I don't know. Skiba! Vimpa Gloosh! But let's see, here we go. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh wow, so she has a pretty different body type from Lucky. Let's get a closer look. Yeah, look at her. Oh my gosh. I really like her. Alright, so definitely for now I'm keeping her, and we'll see how it goes in the future, but I definitely like her. I definitely don't need three dogs that all have the same pattern though, so the other two I will be selling. Alright, so I figure I might as well not wait to sell these puppies. So I guess we'll do Shadow first. And if you're wondering why I'm leaving these in, it's mostly just so you can see how much the puppies are actually selling for, and the kittens, of course. I just don't want you guys to feel totally in the dark about what's going on, you know? But I also don't want to bore you with everything. But Asparagus is having her puppies now. And here's the first one that's a girl, let's see. Sure, let's go with the lily, that's good. And another girl. Brandy, I like that. Let's do it. Oh, and a third one. It's a boy. Okay, Cooper. I like it. There we go. And that's it. Let's go see the puppies now. Look at this tan one. Which one is it? It's Brandy. Oh my gosh, I love this puppy. I don't know where the tan came from because neither of the parents have any in it, but that's totally fine with me. I love her. Obviously, I love the other two as well. Um, they just look very similar to both of the parents, so it's a little less exciting, but I still adore them so much. Oh, and Mika's expecting as well. That's really exciting. I bred her to Pippo, so we'll see how those little babies turn out. I really want, like, orange raccoon looking pattern, but I don't know if that'll ever happen. Alright, and now we're gonna sell Cairo. Sorry, little girl. Let's see you go, but... You'll have a new home soon. <sighs> Alright, so Laika and Asparagus are sick, so I'm gonna have to go back to the vet. I think I'm almost a good enough level to make my own age up treats, but I think I'll get a couple more while I'm there just so that I don't have to go back there just for those.
Mika's kittens are here. First one is a girl. Okay, let's go with Maggie. And a boy. I like diamond, we'll go with that. Okay, that's it. And I see there's a fight happening, but let's just take a second to look at the kittens. They do look like their parents, which is unfortunate. Maybe we need to bring in some new cats, and maybe the, some new genetics will help. I also need to find a male dog for Star because she's related to both Lucky and Duke, so she won't breed with either of them. But unfortunately, you guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. I'm so excited um, for the kittens and the puppies we've had. And I'm excited to renovate the house, hopefully next episode. But I do want to find some more dogs and cats, hopefully, too. So we'll see how that goes. But as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please consider subscribing so you can catch the next episode. And I will see you later.